Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our progressive understanding of layers, we're going to now going to look at groups and why we need them and how they're useful and what we can do with them. So let's start with this picture here. And uh, this is in St. Petersburg. And we're going to select it. So we've got the selection brush. Make sure we've got snap to edges on. And we're just going to paint around here to get this building here. There we go. There you go. That'll, that'll do. OK. Now then, what I can do from that is say, I want to take this selection out and put it on another layer out here. I can just do that with a kind of copy and paste, which is Control C and Control V. And this is now on this layer here. I don't need the marching ants anymore, so I can hit Control D to get rid of it. Now then, if I take the layer off underneath, there you go, there's the building by itself. Now then, this means I can do things separately with the buildings. So I can take this layer here, and if I go to say, I'm going to make this a bit brighter, so I'm going to go to Adjustments and HSL. Notice the HSL is above this layer here, so it affects those things which are below it. So it's just going to affect the background. So I can turn up the saturation on this, and maybe a little bit of luminosity, say. Then I've made the sky a lot brighter. So I can then go to the background here. Let's rename that, back, call it building. So we know what it is. Now then, if I want to make this uh, a bit brighter as well, so I might go to, say, to exposure. So let's improve the exposure. Let's turn this up a little bit. But what's happening now, it's turning up the building, but it's also turning up, up the background. But I've already done the background things here, and I don't want this to be brightened up again. So I want this exposure control here to affect this building here, but not other things underneath it. And the way I do that is to create a group. And so I take this one here, and I need to select all of the layers which are going to be in the group. I can do it by, if I hold down the control key, I can click one layer at a time, click them again, and I unselect them. It's very similar to the way you do it in other uh, situations. Or I can click one here, and if you hit shift and click, it'll be all the ones in between. So let's take this one here and this one here. So shift clicking to get that layer there. Now I want to convert those to a group. So I can go to arrange and, and group or just hit control G. That's one of those useful things to learn. And watch the picture when I do that. And see what's happened? The background now is only being affected by this because what I've done here with this group and see those layers here have disappeared they're inside the group so I could call this building group and if I click this little triangle here you can see inside sort of indented a bit are those controls the building and the exposure control so now if I change the exposure it only affects the building because it's only affecting those things within the group. This is also very useful. Uh, groups are useful for just when I'm looking at this. I've got lots of layers. It's, it's confusing if there's just lots of things you can't see what's going on. So this one here, these two are sorted together. So I click on that and shift click on that. And then go to group, arrange and group or control G. And let's call that one the background group. I don't need the word group there, but just to, to emphasize what it is. Now I've got everything about the building in one layer there, and everything about the background in another layer there. And so I could do things if I wanted to, say, put something else in here. And then I'm going to say, say, I'm going to put in a, say, curves. Curves has gone above here, but I can drag it into this layer here. 
by coming along here, drag it in so it's over the background group there. If I let go of that, it comes in above those other. So I'm putting it on over the name, not over anything on the left here, just over the name. And then I can adjust that again, maybe add a bit of contrast. Yeah, so with curves here, remember I'm pushing up the lights and pushing down the darks. You don't need to do it very much and that creates contrast. And so I've got within here, I've got the various controls for the background in this group and I can close it up to make it nice and tidy so I can see my way around my layers a lot more easily. And I've got here the building group and I can put other things in here to work with that. So there we go. That is the basics of groups. We're going to do more with groups and expand it and what we can do with it before long. But that's the basic thing to do. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.